Hey, you guys. Um, I'm hopping on today to talk to you guys about fast songs. I want to give you guys some tricks, some beginner tricks for fast songs. And I thought it would be fun to show you guys some of the songs that are actually in the At Your Own Pace lessons. Hey, Charity, that is one of the questions I keep getting a lot today is what what songs are included? What songs am I going to play in church? So um, I'm going to show you a few of those today. <coughs> um, other songs that we teach besides the one I'm going to teach today are Breakthrough by Eddie James, King of Glory. Um, what's the All Sons and Daughters song that everybody sings? It's your breath in our lungs. That one's in there too. So when I say that At Your Own Pace teaches you to play in church, those are the songs I'm talking about. We also have some of the older hymn style songs if that's the type of songs that your church does. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with a choir type song called He Made the Difference, and I do have a drum loop. Now, for those of you who feel like that you are a beginner or you're stuck in a rut or maybe you just struggle with slow songs, I'm going to scoot my chair back a little bit because I play better on the edge of my seat. Um, there's a trick that you need to learn. It's called the vamp. It's super easy. It's just the one. It's a progression. It's the one, the four over one, and then the one seven. And when you mix that up, um, syncopate it, break up the notes, it sounds amazing and it can sound different every time that you play it. I use it a lot for a lot of years. It's all I played on fast songs. Um, I'm also, also going to show you guys some options of just sort of um, playing chords. If you're at a beginner level, you can do that to get by in fast songs until you learn this vamp. So let me get started with He Made the Difference. Uh-oh. I don't remember which loop is which. Hold on. Let me play this. No, that's not it. Okay. It's got to be this. Uh-oh. It's not loading. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys know he made the difference? If it wasn't for the Lord, where would it be? My life was nothing until it set me free. What a change he made in my life. No more compromising the wrong for the right. Now, if you're looking to play and sing fast songs, I highly recommend the vamp. Um, I feel like it's syncopated in such a way that you can sort of sing along with it. Um, it kind of keeps the rhythm for you, if you know what I mean. Um, because apparently I lost my loop. I had a loop up here, here and it is gone. I don't think this is it. But nothing's playing for me all of a sudden. Which is okay. I can play with <laughs> I can play this right now for you guys to show what I'm talking about. So I'm in the key of A flat. Um, this song is interesting too. A lot of songs that are like this feel like they stay on the one chord for a while. Even hymn style songs like um, fly away glory. That's all the one chord right there. So you'd be stuck on one chord for a long time if you didn't play the vamp. Okay, so he made the difference. If it wasn't for the Lord, where would it be? My life was nothing until it set me free. We're going to the four. What a change. And this is the part where I told you you can just play a chord. No more compromising. time on the four I can play the vamp so I'm playing the same progression just in different keys oh, see, he made the difference. that's kind of like the signature part of the song chorus I don't walk like I used to walk he made the difference what other songs can you think of that have this style this old gospel style I 
show he made the difference then it goes to the bridge what a change what a change what a change very bluesy sounding right yes ah james cleveland yeah really old gospel what a change this is a kind of these kind of songs to me you can't sit down hawkins family yes what a change so what i'm playing right here is all the one chord okay I'm on the one. So if you saw a chord chart right here, it would just say A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat. And you're thinking, they are not just playing A flat, right? This is what they're doing. They're doing the vamp. Now, I'm syncopating it pretty good. You could play it basic like this to get started. What a change. example of the vamp. It was actually interesting. I re-recorded um, a set of lessons, 30 lessons for the At Your Own Pace series a couple years ago. Um, and one of the things I want to make sure, I want to make sure that there were songs in every key. Guys, I'm like that. Like, <laughs> I wanted to put this series together to really make sure you could play in church. I didn't want there to just be songs in like F, C, and B, right? Because then what, what if somebody sings in G flat? Like you need to know how to play the play in those keys. Because one of the worst things that, that happens as musicians is if you're scared of your instrument, ay, ay, ay. like that's the last thing you want to happen. You do not want to be scared of the piano. Um, and then what I found interesting was I was including different styles of songs. So not only um, gospel songs like this, but praise and worship, CCM kind of songs. And I found that the vamp was a lot more versatile than I even realized. So when I talk about playing better, I talk about learning one trick. You guys know the song. Um, overcomer, I'm an overcomer. This is just off the cuff. By the blood of the Lamb. slower song I'm an overcomer by the blood of the lamb by the word but when you get to the bridge you kind of do vamp watch this overcomer more than a conqueror right here and in my strength and right here crazy Jesus gave me the victory so that's one of the songs that's in the lessons as well uh let's throw it back yeah oh, okay I have one loop that works hallelujah let the church say amen so I'm going to do power in the blood in the key of f once again I'm using the vamp it's just that three chord progression that I'm playing and I've learned it in on every in every key and so in this song and I'm in the key of F I'm playing it on the one chord power power four one working back to the one and I'm playing it on the five so the one four and five okay so I'm not going to sing and play this song here I go
of blood. Okay, so there are other songs like that that this will work for. Um, a lot of your hymn style songs. I was trying to think if there's another one. So thank God for the blood. Thank God. So the beauty also of learning by number is that once you learn a like a progression for a song like this, um, it's power in the blood. That's the song that's in the at your own pace lessons. Then you can apply that same concept to other songs because you're not thinking, oh, okay, it's an F vamp and then it's a B flat. No, you're thinking I'm on the one, I'm on the four, I'm on the five. And that's really how you change the way you play. So if you guys have not made it in the at your own pace lessons, please do so. It does close tomorrow. This is the last week that it's open this year. We don't have any more lessons open for the rest of the year. Um, we do give our uh, team time off in December, so that's nice. Um, so if you have questions about whether this series is right for you, you can go to pianoatyourownpace.com or you can send me a message and I will help you figure it out. Um, I've been on um, social media all day long trying to help people figure out if this is right for them. So if nobody's told you today, guys, I believe in you. You have what it takes to be an incredible musician. Remember, God has given us, he's given me and you a gift and a calling. He's given us a, a desire to play one of those. So it's our job to steward that gift. How do we steward that? By investing in the gift, by taking lessons, by practicing, by growing the gift. Um, when's the next time it will be open? It will be open in January. January of 2023. Can you believe we're even saying those numbers out loud? Okay, you guys, thank you so much. Have a good evening. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.